In many Arab countries, wealthy sheikhs provide their wives with lavish lifestyles, including expensive clothing, jewelry, and homes. However, behind the glamour and luxury, there are often hidden secrets and heartages. One such case is that of Sheikh Mohammed Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai. He divorced his first wife, Sheikh Aranda, more than 40 years ago, and since then, she has reportedly suffered from a broken heart and a sense of injustice. In this video, we will explore the reasons behind Sheikh Mohammed's treatment of Sheikh Aranda, what he did, and why she has been suffering for over four decades. Keep watching to find out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up with our latest videos. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the current ruler of Dubai and chairman of the Executive Council of Dubai. He's one of the wealthiest people in the Arab world and is known to hold a significant amount of power. Unfortunately, Sheikh Mohammed is also known for his harsh and unforgiving nature, often making difficult decisions that can impact the lives of everyday people. He's also been involved in high-value transactions worth billions of dollars. But what's fascinating is that before all of this, Sheikh Mohammed was just an ordinary young man who enjoyed traveling the world and spending time with beautiful women. However, it was clear from the day he was born that his life was predetermined. He's the third son of Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, a former vice president and ruler of Dubai, and it was expected that he would follow in his father's footsteps and take on a significant role in Dubai. However, Sheikh Mohammed's early life wasn't luxurious or grand. Despite being born into a life of privilege, he had to work hard and prove himself before he could take on any significant responsibilities. In his formative years, Muhammad had no access to electricity and his family had to resort to sleeping together in a single room that was equipped with a fan. Notably, Muhammad's household was home to over a hundred individuals, including both guards and slaves. Muhammad's educational journey commenced in the Arab Emirates, where he embarked on his studies. He later attended the English language school at the Bell Educational Trust, located in the United Kingdom. Additionally, he ventured to Italy to undergo training as a pilot. It all started in 1972 when Sheikh Mohammed attended a party in Beirut, Lebanon, at the age of 23. There, he met Randa, who was only 16 at the time and the daughter of a Lebanese politician. Despite being the son of the ruler of Dubai, Randa had no idea who Sheikh Mohammed was when a man approached her at the party and told her that the prince wanted to speak with her. However, Randa was not impressed by the offer and felt that the prince's name was too long to remember. Her response was, if he wants to talk to me, he can come to me. To Randa's surprise, Sheikh Mohammed did come to her. They had a brief conversation and two days later, Sheikh Mohammed arrived at Randa's parents' house with a large entourage and asked for her hand in marriage. After Sheikh Mohammed and Randa got married, they lived an extraordinary life filled with luxury, private planes, champagne, and parties at London's famous Trap nightclub. However, their lifestyle changed drastically when they moved to the United Arab Emirates after the first few years of their marriage. Randa struggled to adjust to the Bedouin culture and the lack of amenities in the United Arab Emirates. To make matters worse, Sheikh Mohammed's family insisted on changing her name from Randa to Haifa, which she found difficult to accept. Over time, Sheikh Mohammed's behavior also changed from being cheerful to becoming a conservative and strict man. Randa was expected to be a quiet and obedient wife, and Sheikh Mohammed was embarrassed by her youthful behavior. Despite the challenges, they still loved each other deeply. In the end, their marriage was a mix of both luxury and cultural differences. After giving birth to her daughter, Manol, at the age of 18, Randa faced a challenging situation. She learned about an order that Sheikh Mohammed had given during her pregnancy, which he denied when confronted. This led Randa to ask for a divorce, 
and she had to return to Beirut alone, leaving her five-month-old daughter behind because Sheikh Mohammed forbade her from taking her. Randa's separation from her daughter was a difficult time for her. She lost everything that mattered to her, her family, home, daughter, dignity, and pride. She felt like she had paid a heavy price for love. Unfortunately, Randa's difficulties did not end there. She soon faced new challenges and hardships in her life. The Lebanon War broke out in 1982, and Randa was caught up in the violence. At a checkpoint in Beirut, she was kidnapped and forced to marry a militia leader who subjected her to a violent and turbulent life. During this marriage, Randa had two children, but she repeatedly asked for a divorce, which was refused by her husband. After the war ended, Randa and her children fled to Italy, where she still lives today. Sheikh Mohammed supported her by paying her legal fees, but he refused to let her see their daughter, Manol, despite promises that they would soon be reunited. In a bittersweet moment, the Sheikh gave Randa a photo of what she thought was Manol, but later realized it was one of his other children. Randa, that had been separated from her daughter, Manol, for years, went to Dubai in 2000 to try and see her. Sheikh Mohammed allowed her to attend an air show celebration where Manol was supposed to be present. However, Randa couldn't find her daughter among the crowd of women and left without seeing her. She later discovered that she was banned from entering the Emirates, allegedly due to being a security threat. Randa couldn't believe that she was deemed a security threat and wondered if it was because of her or her daughter. In 2005, Randa tried to go to the United Arab Emirates secretly to attend her daughter Manol's wedding. But a few days before the trip, she was attacked by a man with a baseball bat. When she woke up in the hospital, Sheikh Mohammed, her ex-husband, was there and tried to support her. Randa was scared of her ex-husband and suspected he was behind the attack, but he denied it and said he could never harm her because she was part of his family. The attack left Randa wheelchair-bound for four years. In an interview with the Sunday Times, Randa said that if she could see her daughter again, her ex-husband would compensate her for everything. However, she and her daughter have not met since the attack. The last time Randa saw Manol was when she was just five months old. Randa is now 66 years old, while Manol is 44 and married to Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed, with whom she has five children. Manol chairs the Dubai Women Establishment and supports women in the United Arab Emirates, which is something Randa didn't have when she was young and in need of help. Why do you think Sheikh Mohammed was so cruel to his ex-wife? The video has come to an end. Before you leave, please share your opinion about the story. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and share the story with your loved ones. Lastly, subscribe to the channel to receive more great content like this. If you appreciated the video, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with someone who might be interested. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.